And welcome everyone, I am December89 and it is my pleasure to introduce you to the Blackwell series. This is the first game in the series, Blackwell Legacy, and I have to say this is my most f favorite series from Wajidai. It's a four. It's already four games with a fifth one scheduled, and I really, really wanted to play these again. I haven't played them in years, and I love them so much. The writing, the art style is just amazing. This one, I think, was released in 2006, so it's already pretty old. It's like... a lot. <laughs> Can't math. But let's start the game! I, I don't need instructions. I'm, I'm a pro at these adventure games, I think. Thank you! for telling me I can still view the instructions. Day one. So. So. I guess this is it. Yep. Years of watching and waiting and hoping, and it comes down to this. Do I love you? Do I miss you? I don't know for sure. I hardly know you, but you're the closest thing to family I've got, and I suppose that's something. Goodbye, auntie. Wherever you are. What's that? Why should I Games presents... A game written by the amazing, amazing Dave Gilbert. I love you. The Blackwell Legacy. So we saw a girl spreading her aunt's ashes onto a pier. What's what her morning. name? At least I'm home now. Well, almost home. But yeah, we don't know who she is or what that wispy blue smoke thing was all about. But we're probably gonna find out soon enough. Where, where's my inventory? Oh, there it is. We have a letter. What does that say? Can we read it? Dr. Donald Quentin, Miss Blackwell, my name is Do Dr. Donald Quentin, I was your aunt's primary care physician here at the Bellevue Hospital. I have seen to your aunt's needs since she arrived here 25 years ago. Holy shit, she was in a hospital for 25 years! Please accept my heartfelt condolences for your loss. Feel free to visit my office at any time. I'm sure we have much to discuss. I'm sure we do. I think that wisp of smoke is going to be pretty, pretty important. It's the front door. Obviously. Let's talk to this uh, interesting and cooperative looking teenager. Hey, dude. Hi there. Uh, hi. So who are you visiting today? Um, I, I live here, apparently. Huh? Seriously, who are you here to see? I can't let you in unless you tell me. Um, I live here? No, you don't. Yes, I do. I know do. everybody in the building. I don't know you. Um, yes, I do live here. Says... question... state the facts. Really? I live here. Nice try. I know everyone in this building, and I don't know you. Sorry. I've lived here for five years. Then how come I've never seen you before? I have no idea. Does it matter? If you lived here, I'd know you. That's all there is to it. Listen here, punk. Who do you think lives in apartment... Who the hell are you? Jim Birdo. Alright, Jim. Jimbo. Where's the regular doorman? Jeez, where have you been? He's on strike. He's on what? Strike. All the building servicemen in the city are doing it. Union rules or something. I stepped in to help because I know everybody. Why didn't anybody tell me? Notices were posted all over the building. I put them up myself. If you lived here, you'd have seen them. I don't pay attention to things like that. Well, that's not my problem. What an annoying little prick. Just show him your key or something. Um, appeal for sympathy? Sympathy? Please, mister? Please. 
I've had a really tough morning. Our aunt died. I need to get home. Sorry, lady. Rules are rules. Oh, you know. Where do you live? Listen. I really live here. Fourth floor. Number 4E. 4E. Hmm. Isn't that apartment empty? No! No! I live there! And I want to go there. Thank you very much. Oh. Hmm. Maybe you're telling the truth. Yes! He sees reason. Thank God. Do you have any ID? A driver's license or something? Yes! I have a driver's license. It's... In my apartment. Upstairs. Yes, of course. In my <laughs> desk drawer. Crap. Crap. Come on! This is New York! Who actually drives? Well, true. But I still can't let you in unless you prove you live here. Oh my god. We, we're already having troubles getting into our, our apartment. I just, who should please help me? Show your proof? We only have like a letter on us. I have my apartment key. Will that do? Sorry, no. That could be any key. Well, let's go upstairs and see if it works. Yeah. And leave the door unattended? Can't do it. Sorry. Oh my god. Okay. I have no ID and you don't know me. What can I do to prove that I live here? Hmm. Well, can anyone in the building vouch for you? I'm not sure. I mean, I don't really know anybody here. How long have you lived here again? Be quiet. Not all of us are social butterflies. Okay, whatever. Hey, what about Nishanti Sharma? She could vouch for you. Who's this uh, Nishanti person? And to be fair, I think I could go with five years without knowing too many people. I'm kind of like this girl. Sorry? Who is Nish... 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 Nish Nishanti. Nishanti. Nishanti Sharma. She lives in 4F. You know, right next door to 4E. Oh, right. You really don't get out much, do you? Your point? Nothing, but I'm sure she could vouch for you. Great. Call her up. She's not here. Of course she isn't. So I gotta wait here all day for her? You might have to. Although, she usually goes to Washington Square Park in the morning. You can look for her there. Oh, what a day she's having. Uh, what about this strike? How long is this strike gonna last? I don't know. Could be a couple hours or a couple days. Oh, jeez. Depending on whether they reach a settlement or not. I don't know the details. Fine, let's go find this Nishanti person. I'll be back. I'll be back. See you around. I'll be back. So how do we go to another area? Huh. Leave the area. Oh, okay. It was there. So we have to go find someone so we can get in our fucking apartment. What a day. Nishanti person, you better be Washington here. Washington Square. It's been a while since I've been here. Still looks the same, I guess. It's a park. Although the dog park is empty. I wonder why. Huh. Can we look through trash? Maybe not yet. Maybe later, because this is an adventure game. Uh, what does it say? Please note, dog walking park is closed until further notice. Wh hmm. Why? Was there like a doggy murder in there? Do not pass dog murder. Ooh, I like this music. <clears throat> What's wrong? Now I'm getting a stress headache. Oh no. I need to get home. We're gonna get home soon, don't worry. Where's this Nishanti person? Hey, doggy! Doggy! Oh, this cute little doggy! I recognize her from my building. Oh, that's her! Nishanti... Sharma, was it? This is gonna be awkward. I know what you mean, girl. Uh, I hate... Since I did, well, I don't hate social events and interaction, but I am really, really awkward in public. I like the doggy though. He's wearing though. one of those extendable leashes. The dog is probably Nishanti's. She looks like a really interesting, interesting woman though. Should I disturb her playing? People are like filming her. Uh, Nishanti person. Uh, I can't do it. I just can't barge up to her. I know. In front of all those people. I know. They're all staring. And she's playing, and she's brilliant. Let's unleash her dog. Uh, dog. I don't think so. Oh god, f first puzzle syndrome. Unleash your dog. Unleash your dog. Why can't I? Sir. Create a distraction. Come on. No one will know. That's Nishan, my next door neighbor, apparently. Apparently. She's playing some sort of flute. It's beautiful. 
All right, here I go. So you can do it. Hello? Um, uh, no. Nope. Okay, that didn't go so well. I just need to work myself up to it. Whew, okay, I hate disturbing people when they're busy as well. Doggy, I know we have to create a distraction, it's so obvious. But how? I need a knife. Oh, oh, I see. He's following me. Come on, doggy, following me. Follow me, follow me, follow okay. me. Okay. No, 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 don't talk to right. her. Crap. Crap. Calm down. I like it when people in adventure games swear. Maybe we can get our dog to follow us really far. Come on. Nope, not that far. To the fountain again. Can we tangle him? <laughs> oh, yes, we can. <laughs> Darn. Uh. Oh, for heaven's sake. Don't worry, Moti. I'm coming. Moti. That's an adorable name. We did it. There, all better. We didn't have to I can't talk in public. Where can I? Oh, it's you, the lady next door. Apparently. Yeah. Hi. Rhonda, isn't it? Nope. No. Rosangela. Rosangela. Well, Rosangela, I hope my friend here hasn't been giving you any trouble. So her name is Rosangela. I th I always thought it was a beautiful name. Odd, but beautiful. This is no problem. This is an adorable dog. Oh, no, no, no trouble. Now don't go defending him. You'll just spoil him. Sorry. Anyway, I don't think we've formally met. I'm Nishanti. Rosangela. So you said. Oh, right. Um. Yes. I have a strange favor to ask. Go ahead and ask. What are neighbors for? <clears throat> you know that building servicemen strike? Yes. Jim Birdo is covering, isn't he? That's the problem, see? He doesn't recognize me. Oh? Oh. So you need me to vouch for you? Yep. Yeah. I know this is pretty stupid. Don't worry about it. Moti is getting a little cranky anyway. Let's get you home. Thanks. Do 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 do. What? What's wrong, Modi? Did this headache again? Are you all right? I'm fine. I just need to get home. All right. Let's keep walking. Do 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 do. We're back. I brought my my voucher with me. Hello, Jim. Hey, Miss Sharma. Jim, this is Rose Angela. She lives here. She does. Okay. Sorry about earlier. Had to be sure. That's okay, dude. It's fine. Syrupy sweet. Ah, syrupy sweet. No. Sarcastic. Yes. Well, now you're sure. And you must be so proud of yourself. Well. Never mind. Just get out of my way. Get out of my way. Well, here we are. Yes. Finally. That stupid kid. Well, perhaps. But try not to be so hard on him. We're all neighbors after all. Yeah, I guess. <coughs> Looks like somebody's hungry. I'd best get this spoiled puppy fed. Feel free to drop in any time you want. Yeah, sure. Polite. I'll think about it. No thinking needed. I know we New Yorkers don't usually talk to our neighbors, but who cares? The city can be a lonely place, especially when you live alone. I've got Moti. Who do you have? I have my computer. Oh, I have three great roommates. Oh? Yes. Um, their names are me, myself, and I. Oh, Rosangela, you crack me up. Um, <laughs> the fuck? It's a joke. Yeah, I get it. Very funny. I'm sure you're fine. I'm Although fine. Although your episode in the park tells me otherwise. Don't worry about and it. And your eyes. Well, let's just say the offer stands. Sure. Okay, you go home okay. Now. We'll see each other soon, Rose Angela, I'm sure. Are okay. we? <laughs> yes. Um, you can call me Rosa if you like. Rose Angela is kind of a mouthful, you know? All right, Rosa. You have a good day now. Were you coming on to her, Rosa? Strange lady. Yeah. 
oh my god, I ad identify so much with Rosa. I would have panic attacks like crazy in that kind of situation. I don't know why. It was wrong with me. Whoa. Home. Thank God. Loving the beat. I've never been so happy to see a 500 square foot room in my life. It's a decent size. Whoa. The phone. Oh. Where is it? Oh, there. Answer the phone. Hello? Hello? This is Dr. Quentin from Bellevue Hospital. Ah, yes. yes. I was your aunt's primary care physician. Did you receive my letter? I did. Yes, I received it. I haven't had the time to come by, though. That's all right. I'm sure you're busy. However, should you find the time today, my entire schedule is free. Uh, sure. I'll, I'll keep that in mind. Thank you. Good day. If I don't visit him, he's just going to keep on bothering me. I suppose I should get it over with. Yeah. So many people wanting to meet us. So, um, I guess we have to go to the doctor, dude. But there's so much stuff to explore here. I want to see everything. Oh, I love this game. Just some old book. Book review, clippings. What else? Trash can. Anything I useful? Need to take the trash out. It's not even full. It's not even full. Can we go to the bedroom? I'm not ready for bed. That's what she said. Uh, what is this? A teddy bear. Griff is fine where he is. Griff the bear. I suppose I should trim this plant. Maybe one day. Maybe one day. She has so many plants though. I am. I do not have green thumbs at all. Uh, all plants die on me. I wonder why. I don't need to bother. I don't get any reception anyway. Why do you have the TV then? And oh my god, it looks really, really antique. I'm not up for watching a movie. Besides, I've seen all of them a dozen times. Now that I'm playing the first game again, I have to say her voice sounds kind of annoying. But um, it gets better within the games. It, it, it gets really good. Ah, I see. Fake plants. That's clever. I don't need to touch it. I know these plants are fake. I should get some fake plants. There's nothing in these cabinets I want right now. Okay, fair enough. Cook? Why bother? When every Chinese restaurant in the area delivers? I guess so. I've, I've never been to America or implicitly New York, so I don't know. There's nothing in these cabinets I want right now. Okay, so we can't pick up anything. God damn it. Why are adventure games not giving me stuff? Oh, a notebook. Where is it? Gimme. I don't need my notebook now. God damn it, Rosangela. I'm not up for Okay, dozens of movies. Computer. Let's stay in front of the computer. Do some writing. <sighs> ha. I'm just feeling so uninspired today. I know Maybe the feeling. tomorrow I'll feel up to it. But today, it's just not happening. I know a lot about not feeling feeling inspired. Turn the computer off. Okay, I guess we should go to the doctor person. We just got home and we have to leave again. Should I visit the Nishanti person? Maybe. Why not? I've got some time. Come in! Why not do all of the social interaction in one day? Hello, Rosa. Hello. Come in, come in. Don't mind the pooch, he's harmless. Yeah, we saw him like five minutes ago. So, uh, hey, doggy. Come on, boy. Oh, this is a good boy. Greet. Hi, um, dog. His name is Moti. Moti, right. yes. Moti. Moti. See ya. We just talked to the dog. You know I spoil you. What? <laughs> Go get it. It's a good boy. May I make may I make small talk. So, um, how's it hanging? How <laughs> oh, I'm that just smile. Fine. <laughs> right, Moti, aren't we just fine? Gosh, she's so uncomfortable. She's so not used to talking to people. I love it. How uh, thank her again because we're a nice person. Thanks again for helping me out earlier. I'd probably be sleeping in a hotel tonight if it weren't for you. Oh, didn't you hear? The strike's over. Oh. Good really? mother f It only lasted a few hours according to the report on the radio. I suppose that's irony. I suppose so. I suppose we will never hear any updates. Uh, let's find out something about our neighbors. Why not? It's never too late. It's only been five years. You seem very... 
friendly with the people in this building. Well, I didn't grow up here. I didn't realize it was taboo to chat with neighbors. It's not taboo, exactly. It's just... Oh, I know. Just one of those unspoken things. I've found that most people are pretty friendly, though, once you take the first step. People have their defenses up most of the time. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. You yeah, know what I I'm do. talking about? I know what you're talking about. I don't talk to anyone. I just live in my room. Hmm. You have a very nice apartment. Thank you. A bit small, but that's New York for you. Do you remember the Skolniks? The couple who lived in your apartment before you? I never met them, no. Well, they had a big Labrador Retriever. Two people and that big black dog. I don't know how they managed. That's probably why they moved out. Hmm, you know, that's a good point. I never thought of it quite like that before. This is uh, pretty boring. So you play the flute, huh? Yes, I play the flute. It's called a bansuri. Ah. It was my grandmother's. She taught me how to play when I was young. I've owned it all my life, but I never started playing it until recently. It's very beautiful. Well, perhaps. I wish I started when I was younger. Still, better late than never, huh? Never too late to learn new things. That's what she said. What about you? Do you play an instrument? Me? No. I can hardly play the kazoo. Let's see. You strike me as being creatively inclined. We are. Are you a painter? A writer? Well, I'm trying to be a writer. I knew it. Anything published? Nothing really. Aside from book reviews in the Village Eye. Village Eye? You mean that little paper they sell at the stand? You've read it? I've seen it around, but I've never actually read it. Perhaps I will the next time I see it. You better. Well, I don't think anything about this is relevant well, right now. I'd better go. Yes. Take care, Rosa. So we better Come go. Back whenever you'd like. I know, I know. We better go and talk to the person that actually is relevant to the story for now. Maybe we'll come back here. So let's go to the hospital. Yay. Bellevue Psychiatric... Ooh. Our aunt was in a psychiatric hospital, eh? That's creepy. Whoa. Why did the light flicker? Why? Okay. What was the deal with our aunt, I wonder? Hello. Ask about Auntie. Did you have contact with Lauren Blackwell Lauren. while she was here? Nope. Doesn't ring a bell. She was in uh, temporary care? No, she was in long term. That's a whole different floor. This is the floor for temp patients. I see. I see. What's going on with the lights, my good man? What's with the lights? Hey, old buildings, you know? Always got problems. If the plumbing ain't broken, the lights are on the blink. It's giving me a headache, let me tell you. Old building! Always got problems. Let's see Dr. Quentin. I'm here to see Dr. Quentin. Uh-huh. Is he expecting you? Yes. I've got this letter right here. Okay. Looks legit. Yep. Go right in. His name's on the door. You can't miss it. Thanks. 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 Something's wrong with your face, dude. Come in. Dr. Quinton? Yes? I'm Rosangela Blackwell. Oh, hello. Come in. Come in. Come in. Come in. Come in. You got my letter, I trust? Yes. Yes, I did. We discussed this. Good, good. My condolences on the loss of your mother. Aunt. Super subtle. Thanks. My aunt is at peace now. It's not too Wherever subtle, though. <laughs> ah, quite right, quite right. So you wanted to talk to me about something? Yes. Yes, I did. Oh, no. But before we go into that, how are you holding up? Well, besides the fact that I got locked out of my apartment today, I'm peachy. I'm fine. That's good to hear. You received the ashes? Yes. I scattered them this morning. I imagine you must miss her. I, um... I'm getting the impression that she didn't know her too well. Maybe she met her only when she was in this psych ward, and she was probably gone by then. To be honest, I'm not sure what to feel. It's not like I knew her, or even remember her from before. She's like a stranger. So why did you make it a point of visiting her all those years? Um, uh, she's family. She was the only family I had. I guess I felt an obligation, like I had to. And now that you don't have to? 
What do you want me to say? Auntie's dead. Life goes on. So you'll just keep living, is that it? Yes. Keep writing your little book reviews in the paper, right? Oh, God. You know about those? Are you stalking me? It's hardly a secret. A number of the staff have read them, yes. I didn't think a West Village paper would interest anyone up here. I have to be honest, Miss Blackwell. The staff read them because they were more interested in you. Oh. Wow, well, I'm paranoid. That's really creepy, Dr. Quinton. Their intentions were purely benign, I assure you. It was your aunt they were primarily interested in. Oh. They wanted to know more about her family, and you proved to be, hmm, shall we say, less than eager to comply? That's their problem. Indeed. It was your choice to make. Your aunt was an interesting case. And now that she's gone, I was hoping you'd be more forthcoming with me. Just an informal chat. We can discuss her condition. And yours too, of course. What? Well, well, we have a condition? Wait, what do you mean by my condition? Hereditary dementia is my specialty, Miss Blackwell. And in my opinion, there is significant cause for concern. We're gonna go Sorry. mad. Did you say hereditary? Yes, two generations. Your aunt and your grandmother before her. My grandmother? Yes, Patricia, I think her name was, right? I don't know. I never knew my grandmother. Auntie Lauren was it. There was nobody else. She couldn't exactly provide me with a family history. Oh, I see. I had no idea. Well, maybe you should have. Did anyone else come to visit her besides me? No, you are correct. I should have read the family history more carefully. Yeah. I do apologize. I just assumed... Well, never mind. It doesn't change the fact that you should be concerned as well. Go on. Patricia Blackwell suffered her mental collapse at the age of 55. Oh dear. Lauren Blackwell underwent hers at the age of 40. Oh dear. What are you saying? That the same thing is going to happen to me? No. I'm saying that there is significant cause for concern. Well, what did my aunt have? She, like, broke down earlier. You never could find out what was wrong with her, huh? No, we didn't. But she still remains a fascinating case. Fascinating? I don't understand. Forgive me, I speak from a purely professional perspective. I didn't know your aunt personally. Neither did I. But... fascinating? It might come as a surprise to you, but yes. But she was practically catatonic. All she did was lie there for 20 years. Oh, that's horrible. She sometimes twitch or mumble something incoherent, but I wouldn't call that fascinating. Well, as you know, she wasn't exactly catatonic. Oh, that's horrible. That's even sedated. worse. Right. She had outbursts. Yes, and we had to sedate her heavily to keep her calm, especially in preparation for your visits. What are you trying to say? Miss Blackwell, we are not a nursing home. We're not content to merely keep a patient comfortable. We are, after all, in the healing profession. We were trying to heal your aunt, and to do that, we had to speak to her. Wait, you spoke to auntie? We tried to. Did she answer back? After a fashion, yes. What? Well, what do you mean, after a fashion? If Auntie spoke, why wasn't I told? Miss Blackwell, do you remember what brought your aunt here in the first place? Her screaming, her hitting herself? What? I was only five years old at the time, but I kind of remember. In order to prevent her from doing harm to herself or to others, we were forced to sedate her. When we limited her medication, she simply reverted to her former state. Her natural state, I'm sorry to add. What did Auntie say? Nothing that made any sense. But one thing was clear. She was in great pain. Pain? What kind of pain? It's difficult to say, but it was immense. How immense? When we reduced her medication, the transformation was dramatic. Her eyes flew open. She thrashed, her screams, well, we had to gag her eventually. Oh dear. Oh God. I know. Did she still feel it when she was sedated? We don't know. There's no way of knowing. 25 years. I know. Poor auntie. 25 years, folks, of torture. Can't imagine what she went through. So, I had a grandmother. Apparently so. How do you know about her? It was in your aunt's case history when she was brought to us. 
Patricia Blackwell's symptoms were the same word for word. Patricia's case was severe and she was young, but it was chalked up to being an ordinary case of dementia. Until... Until it struck her daughter. Oh dear. Until 20 years later when it struck her daughter, yes. It seems impossible. Perhaps it's genetic, but we've detected no abnormality. Well, I'm, um, I'm pretty much screwed then. I'm gonna go insane, probably at the age of 35. So what should I do? Right now? Nothing. This type of thing is unprecedented. There is no procedure to go through, no medication I can give you. I just want you to be aware, is all. And come talk to me if, well, there's any concern. What well, links? You couldn't find any other link between the two cases? None, aside from the family connection. And uh, a name. What name? name? What name? The documentation we had on your grandmother is minimal, but there was one interesting item noted. During her more lucid moments, she uttered the name Joey. Joey. Your aunt too, would cry out that name on occasion. Joey. Yes. Who's Joey? We've been wondering the same thing for 25 years. Who's Joey? Is there anything else you need to tell me before I go? Your aunt had some personal effects in storage. As the next of kin, you're the beneficiary. It's just a folder, some documents and so on. It's being sent to your address via messenger. Oh. Well, thanks for that. It's no problem at all. Goodbye, Miss Blackwell. My schedule is fairly open now, so feel free to drop in any time. I'm always happy to discuss my favorite patient. Sure. Hmm. I don't trust this guy. I think he's gonna be evil. Don't you hunt me down! So, uh, that's uh, even uh, more information that we wanted to find out. Apparently our aunt was, uh, well, basically kept here for 25 years because she had gone insane. Like, really, really fucking insane. She was screaming the name Joey. In the next episode, guys, we're gonna find out who this Joey person is, probably. Thanks for watching.